Some things in life are just made to go together. Peanut butter and jelly, rock and roll, the sun and the moon. These things got Blake Sanders, the owner of KS Services, thinking. What can we pair with our superior heating and air service to make our customers even happier? Plumbing Experts by KS Services was born. So the next time you have a clogged line, leaky faucet, or water running all through the house, know there's a reputable company out there on call just a click away. Call KS.com, your trusted source for heating and cooling and now plumbing. Good morning. It's the Weather Extreme video for Saturday, April 11th, 2020. I'm Scott Martin. Of course, the main story is the significant threat of severe storms on Sunday and into the pre-dawn hours on Monday. We look to be dry today and for the rest of the forecast period after the storms move out very early on Monday morning. More on that in just a moment. As of 3.30 a.m. this morning, we have a few high, thin clouds streaming across the north-central parts of central Alabama, while the rest of the area has clear skies. Temperatures as of the 3 a.m. roundup were in the mid-30s to the mid-40s across the area. Auburn was the warm spot at 45 degrees. Haleyville, Pell City, and Gadsden were tied as the cold spots at 36 degrees. Birmingham was sitting at 41 degrees. Frost advisories are up for all of North Alabama and for a few counties in the northern parts of Central Alabama until 8 a.m. this morning. Now let's dive into the 0-Z run of the GFS valid today at 1 p.m. After a chilly start across Central Alabama with temperatures starting off in the mid-30s to the lower 40s, we'll have a very pleasant Saturday. Skies will be mostly clear during the daylight hours and afternoon highs will top out in the lower to mid 70s across the area. Clouds will be on the increase as we lose daylight and we'll end up with mostly cloudy skies with showers and a few thunderstorms moving in around midnight. These thunderstorms will be elevated and the overall risk for severe weather is very low, but a strong storm is possible with small hail being the main threat. Lows bottom out in the 50s. A strong surface low along with a cold front will be approaching the area to start the day on Sunday while a warm front will be moving northward from the Gulf Coast and will eventually move completely across central Alabama. As the warm front passes over and moves north of the area, the atmosphere will become highly unstable and primed for severe storms. The Day 2 Severe Weather Outlook from the Storm Prediction Center released earlier at 1 a.m. keeps a moderate risk for severe storms, level 4 out of 5, for nearly all of the western half of the state and crossing over the I-65 corridor into the east central parts of the area. The rest of the state remains in an enhanced risk for severe storms, level 3 of 5. The latest run of the high resolution NAM shows that there is the potential of surface-based instability values being really high, well over 1,000 joules per kilogram and nearly reaching 2,000 joules per kilogram by 10 p.m. At the same time, shear will be maxing out up into the 60 to 80 knot range. Helicity values will be well more than sufficient for rotating storms, maxing out at over 600 meters per second squared in parts of the area. Lapse rates will also be rather steep, reaching nearly 7 degrees Celsius per kilometer. When combining all of those ingredients together, you will get a significant tornado parameter with values reaching as high as 13.0 in the area. With all of that said, we are looking for the potential of tornadoes, some of which may be stronger to violent long track tornadoes, damaging winds up to and exceeding 70 miles per hour, and hail up to golf ball size and diameter. The 0Z NAM sounding for the Birmingham metropolitan area shows the potential hazard as PDS tornado, with the PDS standing for a particularly dangerous situation. Timing of the threat of severe storms across the area will start around 2 p.m. on Easter Sunday and will continue through the rest of the day and will come to an end around Monday at 2 a.m. We'll have multiple waves move through the area during that time, mostly in the form of supercellular structures, before the main squall line pushes through later in the night and into the overnight hours. We'll have to watch for any rogue storms that form out away from any clusters, as these will be the ones with the potential of spawning the higher end tornadoes. All of these storms will be fast movers, so you'll need to be alert to the weather throughout Easter Sunday, especially late into the day. Be prepared to act if a warning is issued for your location. You have an entire day to make sure your severe weather safety kits are replenished and your plan of safety is ready to act. Get that completed today because trying to do that on Sunday may be too late, especially with most places closing so that employees can spend time with their families. Turn on those WEAs 
Get fresh batteries in your weather radios and download your favorite weather app that alerts you when your location goes under a warning. Have multiple ways of receiving warnings and do not rely on outdoor sirens. By sunrise on Monday, we will have a stretch of very nice weather start for the entire work week. Skies will start off with clouds moving out of the area and nearly maximum sunshine for the afternoon through sunset. Highs will range from the lower 60s in the northwestern parts of central Alabama to near 80 degrees in the southeast. We may see some frost during the overnight hours in the northern parts of the area as lows will drop into the upper 30s to the upper 40s from north to south. After a chilly start for your Tuesday, skies will remain mostly clear throughout the day. Some clouds will move in during the evening and late night hours, but we look to stay dry at this point. Highs will be in the lower 60s to the mid 70s across the area from the northwest to the southeast. Skies will become mostly sunny by the late morning hours on Wednesday and will stay that way through the remainder of the day. Highs will top out in the mid 60s to the lower 70s. Thursday will be another dry day with a mix of sun and clouds, highs topping out in the upper 60s to the lower 70s. Mild temperatures return on Friday as we'll continue to have a mix of sun and clouds. Highs will be in the 70s across the area, getting close to 80 degrees in the extreme southeastern parts of the area. That will wrap it up for today's Weather Extreme video. We'll have notes on the blog throughout the day. The next video will be out bright and early on Sunday morning, weather permitting. I'm Scott Martin signing off for today. Have a great day and God bless. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.